welcome to the latest episode of Notice Board. What a week it has been and what amazing changes that we are seeing in the world around us and definitely the world of work, workers and workplaces has changed so dramatically in the last couple of days. Think about it, a week back, a month back, two months back, how we would have reacted to a news of such a possibility and how we are reacting to it today. So my intent is not to give you any more advice than what you are already flooded with because but this is the new world of media and that's one of the pieces that I want to talk to you about today. How are organizations going to deal with this tremendous significant seismic shift that is happening in media? People are beginning to learn to communicate in different ways using different software. The downloads of Zoom, the software that you use for video conferencing, has been up dramatically. Zoom software has been downloaded 275,000 times in the last one week. And of course, Microsoft Teams is having a field day because collaboration software everywhere else is really going through the roof because everyone is really trying to learn to use it. And so that is really seeing another field day. But the world of workers is seeing some very significant shifts. Marriott Hotels has furloughed thousands and thousands of workers. Entertainment is really going through the roof because people are home. They're watching more movies. They are reading more books. And for the very first time, Amazon is talking about children's books and puzzles being in the top 100 most ordered. Can you believe it? It's the parents who are now sitting there and spending time helping their children out with their homework. But also what is happening in the world of social distancing, people are beginning to discover a whole lot of long lost friends who they have not been in touch with and it's rekindling many of those lost relationships. Has that happened to any of you? We would love to know about that. Take the opportunity to call up a few friends and ask them how they are coping with this scenario and make sure you end on a cheerful note. But at the end of every conversation, if you talk only about gloom and doom, then the economy is not going to recover back and we need it to recover back really quickly. A worrisome factor that came to light is when migrant workers take the trains and thousands and thousands of people crowd into the trains and go back to their own villages, it's a Hobson's choice because they cannot potentially stay in the big city if they have no work. And many of these people are in the informal sector. They earn on a daily basis. And if they are not able to ply their trade, there's only so much they can survive maybe for a day or two. Um, you know, cut down a meal for a day or two. But beyond that, they just have to figure out a way to solve the problem. So this is going to be one of the challenges. Certainly, the world of work is going to see a lot of disruption. And we are going to actually land up seeing um, a whole lot of new ways of working that are going to emerge. Employees are getting used to communicating on video conferences right through the day. And the questions that will come up is, uh, certainly that, you know, do we really need to travel for each of those meetings? Can some of them be done on video conference? That usage is going to go up because adoption of video conferencing software has gone up like never before. And gamers are playing lots of video games. So video game downloads have gone up by 75%. Um, people are watching a lot more of cable television. So news items which people are looking at on television uh, has gone up drastically. Disney has moved the launch of its movie Frozen uh, by three months and they were planning to do that release during the summer vacations but hey this is as good as summer vacations when it comes to viewership of those movies. So some people are really moving fast and making the most of these opportunities and by that I don't mean companies which make hand sanitizers or any of those items but there are many companies which are having to now take really harsh decisions about how do they create alternative supply chains. Because when the world comes back to a different pace, it is certainly not going to be business as usual. So how do you handle supply chains? How do you handle hiring? You know, it's all done through job uh, interviews, which are being done on videos. But many of them have really frozen their hiring offerings uh, because they really want to know uh, what kind of numbers they are going to need and they are going to take a fresh look at that because some people have moved back, some of the people who were available earlier are no longer available. All of that has happened in the last couple of days. So um, when we come back, 
Every week, we are going to explore how this world is changing and what is it that you're going to be doing differently. Till the next time, take care, be safe, goodbye.